Candish with so many names. Kheer is Kheer in general, but the, uh, the names Shirika, Gile Fildos, Filni, which is a version of Kheer, Rice Pudding, which I don't necessarily like, Paish or Paishon. The reason I don't necessarily like rice pudding because I think it doesn't really do justice with Kheer, the name Kheer basically. Um, now, Kheer is a very simple and not very complicated dish. That's what people will tell you. <laughs> I won't do that. It is simple and yet it is complex. Like the usage of different things in making Kheer. For example, milk. Now, what kind of milk you should be using? Should you use full cream or half and half? I personally like using full cream. It gives that creamy texture. Second, the kind of vessel. Aluminium, steel, iron, earthen, whatever like you want to use. You can, I personally prefer other pots. It just again adds to the entire process and make your keel a lot thicker. So that's the second tip. Third is the kind of grain that you use, longer or the shorter. I personally like using these short grains. Now, what the good thing about short grains is that these are, they add texture to your keel. And this is Tilak Chandan. Now, Tilak Chandan adds a lot of different kinds of aroma as well. So imagine all these different simple things in the keel to make a complex and yet simple dish to you. Um, now keel is something which has been in circulation so to speak since forever. It's been eaten by lords, the gods, the goddesses and us mere mortals. It was also used by Romans and they used keel as a or keel or rice pudding as a detox. Now, the recipe I am going to be using is from a 12th century textbook called Manas Ullasa. Today is 21st century and the uh, recipe hasn't changed much. Of course, people add or tweak their own versions, but the base is the same that I will be using. So, there are a lot of other myths. Folklore around Kheel, we'll talk about that as well. But as of now, let's get cooking fire and then boil your milk. I am using earthen pot to boil my full cream milk. Earthen pot adds a really nice flavor. Then you basically wash and soak your rice. So like soak it till you make it. <laughs> I usually like to soak for 35-40 minutes. It helps cook rice properly and reduce timing as well. Then also you got to keep looking and checking your milk because if you're using two liters then you have to make it like one and a half or one liter. Then Let's also pound our elaichi or cardamom. Just like European cuisines have vanilla, many Indian sweet dishes have cardamom. And then take your warm milk because you got to infuse saffron in this. What it does is that it adds a really nice aroma and flavor to your kheer. And you can also say I'm having saffron infused kheer. As we wait for the milk to boil and reduce, let's talk some stories. So there are multiple stories about kheer that I was mentioning. First one, Actually, all of them I love. Um, first one being, it's a story from Konark Temple, Odisha. Now, the, the story or the folklore goes that it was Kheer which kind of helped Konark Temple's construction. What happened? They were trying to construct Konark Temple, but every time they throw stone in the water, it will sink. So what to do, what to do, nobody kind of knew how to do it. And then finally they thought, okay, let's just park these ideas up now because clearly we're not able to construct the temple. So this guy came in, the young chap, and he said, okay, let me show you how you can construct. And he used Kheer as the base to sort of give the idea. So he used rice and then poured some milk on top of it and then started showing how you can construct Konark temple. And till date, Konark Temple or in Odisha, Kheer is distributed. Um, it's one of the common and most popular delicacies of Odisha. Now, the second story, which is where the Paisum comes from, comes from down south, uh, from a small town called Amalapuza, which is in Amalapuza, it's a district. Um, Lord, Lord Krishna, Lord Krishna took an avatar of sage and then comes down on earth and challenges the king there and says, I want to challenge you on a game of chess. And King said, okay, yeah, sure. Who are you to defeat me? Because I am the pro here. Uh, Krishna said, sure. So let's just start. However, if you 
lose and if I win then you are going to give me rice grain each box so the first box will have one rice grain and then we subsequently get doubled of course the king said uh, but of course Lord being Lord he defeated the king and uh, thereby he won like quintals and quintals of grains um, now the king said I am not able to give you this much grain because otherwise I will be really poor and I can't afford that much grain as well so the, the Lord said okay don't worry then construct a temple and uh, every time when people come here you're going to give them free kheer or free pash king agreed and till date it is called or it is just still considered as that that debt that the king had over Lord Krishna that still he is paying off so that's the second one third one of course is usual kheer that we eat is a cultural aspect of Hindustan of India where irrespective of your birthday if you on your death day or your anniversary and many other places you make kheer this is also the dish that is made when a new bride comes home so that's another interesting part so yeah kheer has many uh, sort of integral things that, that holds India together let's get back to kitchen now look at this it's almost half like one and a half at least and now we're going to add our rice which we soaked if you remember now add all of these things together make sure they are cooked together because this is the last almost the last and final stage this is this what you will get here from now once you start cooking this will look something like this it's almost done look how creamy it is looking it's all because of using the short grain rice now let's add some of our milk which is infused with saffron it will give that all those goodness and of course fancy saffron here you will get at the end now this is dried or evaporated milk which is not part of the original recipe from Manasur Lhasa and also usage of dry fruits or nuts I like to add these things because it makes kheer creamier and have nicer texture now we add our khoa and on top of it we add sugar sugar must be added towards the end not in the beginning and you can adjust sugar as per your likeness you can also do honey you can also add jaggery so all these options and don't spill like I did <laughs> that is not part of the recipe you can use a bigger vessel if you have that's a better option <laughs> let's add some nuts towards the end and again give it a nice mix nice stir so that it's it goes everywhere in the pot and when you're having it you get nuts you get rice you get everything good in one spoon it looks beautiful <laughs> it's done guys this is very done now of course you can eat the way you want I am showing you this in traditional wear as well as earthen pots many of the places kheer is served in these kind of uh, bowls you can also use a normal regular thing as well nothing fancy moment of truth I am going to be eating my own kheer and uh, let me tell you already it is amazing <laughs> uh, because I have cooked it and it's not the first time cooking kheer but this is as I was saying with Tilak Chan and rice let's try it out first mm. the addition of khoa and elaichi khoa is making it a lot more creamier elaichi over the cardamom nice aroma it is giving and uh, as I am mentioning because I have used the shorter grain, it adds to the creaminess texture of the kheer. And that's, that's what you want. That's, that's exactly the main essence of the entire dish. So yeah, um, this is my version of the same 12th century text of Manasur Lhasa. You can create a similar kind of flavors as well. You can add different flavors in this. For example, it's mango season. So you can add mango in this. Um, you can add different kinds of flavors, you can add black currant to make it a little tangy, any kind of fruits that you can add or you want to add, not papaya, that won't work. <laughs> but in general, other fruits which have nice texture, nice flavor to it, please go ahead and you can experiment with that as well. So this is my version, I am going to be enjoying my plain simple and not so simple here. You guys go ahead and give it a shot. Make your version as well.